Okay, quick example on finding the lowest common speed in a print. The idea here is you're printing a silk that has overhangs and you want to get rid of the difference in surface appearance being matte or shiny. So I've thrown a sphere on the plate, uh, made it a little bit larger to see what we're working with. If you look at it from the side, there's several different angles in this. It's a low poly sphere. So we have a couple different areas to look at. Uh, I'm going to change my view to speed, and you'll see that we have several different speeds being shown. The slowest being this magenta color. Well, if I find my z-seam, because I want to find the start of that line, and then scroll down to that layer, zoom in at this point, I want to find right after that z-seam. Well, it should be pretty close to the beginning of the playback, so I'll scroll back. Right there. That's where it starts. So, you got a G1 F1800. The F tells you how uh, it sets a movement speed, and that means uh, millimeters per minute. Now, 1800 is easy mental math, but let's assume we had some crazy number. You punch it in, divide by 60. I now have 30 millimeters per second. That's the speed that that overhang is happening at. So if I come back over here and look at speed, I can tell you right now it's this one right here, but let's go ahead and set my other two overhangs to use that. Now this may not give you the greatest overhang result, but it will at least make it more uniform. So my overhang areas now match that speed. What's a little bit confusing at the bottom, we've got this uh, faster speed. Well, that's actually being picked up as bridges because there's so few layers there, so I'll change that to 30 as well. And re-slice. We've got our bottom nice and uniform now. So up on the top, you have standard outer walls, and you've got top surface. I'll just do the outer wall real quick. With the outer walls now, you have these layers up on top. That's my top surface, so I'll set those to 30 and slice. And now I've got a sphere with a nice uniform color all the way around it. Overhangs probably won't print pretty. You'll, you might need supports, you need extra cooling, whatever, but from a surface finish perspective that is now nice and even. 